64K. Where the future is so bright you gotta wear shades. Hey, Bastish B here for 64K and welcome to another episode of New Retro. And if you've never watched this show before, basically I look at a new retro game on an old system and then we look at the game that might have inspired it, the inspiration game. And today's games are... So let's first take a look at today's inspiration game. Montezuma's Revenge was released in 1984 on the Commodore 64 by the Parker Brothers. It was a flip screen platform adventure game with you controlling the character Panama Joe as he searches some ancient Aztec temple and looting all the jewels and gold within. What a classy guy. This was one of those very early C64 games that I played in the first wave of Commodore titles on my friend's machine before I got my own. We spent a lot of time playing it and trying to figure out the rooms and the best ways not to die. The game can essentially be seen as an early example of a Metroidvania style title with the temple littered with all sorts of traps, you needing keys and other items to open new areas and a lot of backtracking and searching to make your way down the nine massive floors with roughly about 99 different rooms to explore. Having essentially the freedom to go in any direction and path you want, until obviously reaching a locked door that is, was so super cool back then. With most games just pushing you in the left to right direction, Montezuma's made you feel like you were actually exploring an ancient temple with each screen offering a new set of challenges. You could only carry a certain amount of items at any one time, so therefore a degree of strategy was involved with figuring out what you needed to progress further down the temple. Items include the now classic video game trope of different colored keys for certain colored doors, an amulet of immunity, a disposable one-hit sword and so much more. The game got pretty favorable reviews across the board and was released on all major 8-bit systems of the time, with Zap64 giving it an 83% overall at issue number 12. Overall it's still a very playable and fun platform adventure game that only really lacks a nice C64 soundtrack, as the game only has a few quick medleys and the odd sound effect. Maybe a cracking group could give it a cool new loader and title screen and a rocking C64 soundtrack. Now wouldn't that be cool? And now let's have a look at the new game. Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe was released in 2018 on the Commodore 64 by Collectivision Games. The Sydney Hunter series has been around since about 2012 with various other retro versions being available before the C64 port. The game follows very closely in Montezuma Revenge's shoes as it's an open world platform adventure game where you play Sydney Hunter, an adventurer exploring the Yucatan Peninsula after treasure but gets caught by a local tribe and becomes their prisoner. Help them find their mystical portal and then you'll gain your freedom. As you can see gameplay is very much in Montezuma's mold where looting for treasure is used to give to the tribesmen to gain access to new areas. The temple is filled with traps and creatures that are intent with sending you to the grave which actually leads to one of the game's coolest moments as in the afterlife you meet Panama Joe and he ushers you back to the land of the living, which is one of the best throwback cameos I've ever seen in a game. One of the most obvious drawbacks of the original version of Montezuma's was the lack of a map feature, which is included in Sydney and makes exploring the 100 screen maze much easier to comprehend. There's all manner of traps, from spark pits, lava, quicksand, bats, snakes, etc. Although as a game, Sydney is much easier and more forgiving to play, with your character having nice big jumps that don't require painful pinpoint accuracy. I really also love the graphic style as it employs the C64's underused high res mode for really sharp and defined graphics and animation. The music is provided by Icon 64's regular Sid Master Soul Cross and is very reminiscent of his later tunes for them and is good without being overbearing. This is another one of those games that I stumbled across in about 2018 and literally reignited my love for the C64 once again and inevitably spawned this channel. So what more can I really say? about this other than it's a C64 game well worth tracking down to play. And you're probably wondering, where can I get these games? As per Montezuma's Revenge, eBay is your best bet for a physical copy. Unfortunately, it's going to cost you dearly. But if you just want to get a digital version for your Maxi or Mini, just hit up csdb.dk and download it there. As for Sydney Hunter, check out Collectivision Games. It's available in both disc, cartridge and digital forms. 
although good luck on getting the physical versions as they're usually out of stock. I'll leave links to everything in the video description. And thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you can like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Cheers.